Hello again everybody, Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief from Motherboards.org. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Well this week, Intel releases a bunch of new CPUs featuring integrated graphics. Along with those new CPUs come new motherboards. This week we take a look at the new ASUS P7H55D-M Evolution motherboard. Follow along as we show you all the features of this new motherboard. The P7H55D uses the new Core i7, i5, and i3 processors. It also has four DIMM sockets and can support up to 16 gigabytes of memory. It has VGA, DVI-D, plus HDMI support, and can use memory up to 2133 megahertz, which is much higher than the Intel. It has eight plus three power phase support and also features Turbo V for easy real-time overclocking. The PCI and PCIe slots only support standard interfaces. There's no support for SLI or Crossfire. Some additional features of the P7H55D M Evo are the GPU boost, which allows you to overclock your graphics, Memo K, which checks your memory and makes sure it's good before the system actually boots. Um, this motherboard is actually a micro ATX form factor motherboard, which is great for building a little mini system like an HTPC. A great media system starts with good things like 8-channel Realtek HD audio. This motherboard also supports 6 SATA ports, including one eSATA port. It has 10 USB 2.0 ports and 2 USB 3.0 ports, including your standard PS2 and PS combinations for your mice and keyboard. Here's a shot of the actual retail box itself. And we'll follow that up by some shots of the motherboard. This is a full retail package to include everything, including your drivers, your cables, your I.O., and everything else. This is the overhead of the motherboard. You can see the memory interface, the ZIF interface. Here's an actual close-up of the ZIF interface. Here's the PCIe slot where your video card gets inserted in the motherboard, followed by your SATA connections. The rear I.O. is very fleshed out. It offers USB 3.0, unlike the Intel board, and also offers full digital audio. Here are the specifications for our test system for this new platform. After this, we'll show you the scores and how it compared to the other motherboard we tested, the Intel board. The new ASUS P7H55D-M EVO motherboard comes into the market at about $79. This is a pretty good price. You have to buy about a CPU that's in the $200 to $300 range if you want to get the high-end new CPUs that fit this motherboard, but overall it's a solid motherboard. It's great for using in an HTPC due to its micro ATX form factor. Overall, I give this motherboard a solid thumbs up and it's a hot product for the new market of 2010.